Hello everyone and welcome to Easy Mini Painting with me, Christopher Ridge, and we are going to be moving on to more Mansions of Madness 2nd Edition. We're going to be knocking out the Deep One Hybrids and the Child of Dagon, which are these really gnarly, gooey, gross, fish, dead people, something or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They look great. Well, I think they look great. Why don't we just paint them? The very first thing I did was I started with a layer of necrotic flesh, and I think that that, as a base code, will just give a good sort of stinky fish, rotting flesh kind of look to it. Next, we're going to move on to some uniform gray, and we're going to use that just to knock out the Deep One Hybrid's sweaters, and then maybe the shorts on the Child of Dagon as well. You can use any old brush, I would say, it doesn't really matter. All right, there you go. So you just want a nice sort of gray sweater on there. Just a lot, you know, a decent amount of surface area on there, but not a huge deal. Okay, so there we go. We've got our Deep One Hybrid sweaters on there. I'm going to rinse off my brush, and I'm going to go back to the, you know, slightly smaller brush that I was using on the very first one, because I'm also going to knock out the Child of Dagon shorts just really quickly. Not a huge deal on that. There's not a lot to cover, but just, just a little bit of a something here. There you go. You just get a little bit of a, of a color on his shorts right there, and that just kind of shows that that's a little bit of a different color. So there you go. Now we're all done with that uniform gray color. Then I'm going to take out some deep blue, and I think that that'll give us a good sort of denim jean kind of color, but still a nice, you know, like sort of dark color. So we'll use that for the Deep One Hybrid's pants, and then also just for, you know, fun, we'll go ahead and knock out the vest on the Child of Dagon there too. So we'll start with the, uh, with the jeans here. There we go, those are some nice prominent blue jeans right there. They'll get a lot darker too whenever we use our wash at the end of everything. So a little something like that, just make sure you get some, some full coverage over everything there. And just do that for all of the Deep One hybrids. All right, there we go. So now we've got all of the jeans on all of our Deep One hybrids. And like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the vest on the Child of Dagon as well. There we go. So now we've just got his nice uh, blue vest right there. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. It's a little bit tricky to getting underneath the, uh, the underside of his left arm there, but if you just take your time and if you just have a decent enough brush, I think that you'll be in good shape. And yeah, I would say that that is pretty decent, so I will go ahead and call that with that, so I'll rinse my brush off. Then we're going to take out some oak brown, and we're going to use that for several things. The first of which I'm going to do a little bit more kind of detail stuff here. I'm going to take out the Child of Dagon here, and I think he's got these big sort of mutton chops sideburn kind of things. You can kind of see on the side of his face right there. So I'll take out a, a little, little bit of a sharper detailed brush. Not like a super detailed brush or anything, but uh, just something to... with a nice sharp point on the end of it. And we'll just go ahead and lightly get his facial hair here. There we go. You just get those kind of sideburns on there. That looks good. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to use a, eh, not as detailed brush, but, you know, just a, sort of another sort of standard brush, I would say. Because we're also going to knock out the sort of pickaxe thing that he's holding. Just to get that kind of wood color on there. And then we're going to do the same thing with all of the clubs on the Deep One Hybrids. Uh, there you go. And you just get that sort of, you know, brown kind of wood look on there. So that's good. And then, like I said, same with the Deep One Hybrids and all of their clubs that they're holding. There 
you go. So as soon as you get the clubs on there, that's pretty much all that you need for those. Although we are going to do one more thing with this oak brown color, and that's that I think we can afford to just get the shoes on there with the same color too. All right. So now our deep one hybrids are coming along quite nicely there. And now we're going to get into the gross stuff. So I'm going to take out some Dragon Red, and we're going to use that. First off, let's go ahead and address the Child of Dagon here. What I'll do is I'll take out a little bit of a, you know, sharper pointed brush. And what we'll do is we're going to look for all of the different sort of like wounds and pustules and all the nasty stuff all over the Child of Dagon. And we'll go ahead and just dot each of those to give a nice sort of disgusting impression that there are some, some nice bloody bits all over him. There we go. That's the kind of thing that we're looking for there. You just want to get some coverage over all of the different little pustules and all the, all the nasty bits that are all over the Child of Dagon. Gross. Okay, and then yeah, when we do it with the uh, the shade later on, that'll really really bring it out as well. And then we're gonna move on to the uh, uh, the deep one hybrids here, and you can kind of see they they might be a little bit hard to see at a first glance, but they've got little like sort of tendrils kind of coming out of their sweaters and stuff. Why don't we go ahead and just cover those in this dragon red color as well? I'm also just going to get the side of his mouth there, too, because there's kind of a little bit just sort of hanging out there, too. And then also just uh, go ahead and get the, the sort of wounds in his, in his jeans, any of the different, like, holes on his clothes, anything like that. Okay, so that one there, you got another one on his right arm, you've got some wounds on his actual uh, sort of jeans, you got the thing on the side of his face, and then you've got some more coming out of his left uh, shoulder blade on the very back there. So yeah, go ahead and just do that, and then knock that out for all four of them. All right, there we go. We got some nice, nasty sort of pustules and growths and various things just kind of growing on all of our monsters there. So that's coming along pretty well, so I'm gonna rinse that brush off. You know, another thing that I realized I forgot to do were the hats on the Deep One hybrids here. Now, I had decided when I was doing the planning process for this that I wanted to use the Deep Blue, but I just forgot to do it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and knock that out really quickly while I'm still thinking about it, so, uh, you need to get out a little bit more, no big deal, but I am going to go over the hats with deep blue. There you go, just a little something like that. That just kind of gets the nice blue hats on there. Now, nothing. Jeez. I just, oh boy, I keep forgetting a lot of things. He's also got some hair on the back of his head right there. You know what, if you want to go over those with like a, a brown color, you know, oak brown, monster brown, whatever, I think that you can, but if you want to just kind of uh, leave it as well, I don't think it'll be a big deal. Whatever you want to do. These are ultimately your miniatures, and these videos are meant to just be uh, more, more like what you called guidelines than, uh, than actual rules. So do whatever you want. If you want to paint the hair on the backs of their heads, go ahead. If you don't want to, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. There we go. So now we've got the, the hats on all of our Deep One hybrids there. And that is looking pretty good. So I'm going to rinse that brush off because now we're actually really seriously done with the deep blue color. Then we're going to use some gun metal just to knock out the the few amounts of metal that there are on these miniatures with the with the deep one hybrids it's just the nails sticking out of their clubs so just go ahead and touch those up really quick with gunmetal just nice kind of steel color there you go just a little something like that that just kind of gets some nice coverage over each of the nails there 
That'll do just fine, so just do that for all four of them. Alright, and then just for the Child of Dagon here, just go ahead and get over the uh, the sort of pickaxe uh, blade. That'll do just fine. There you go, just a little something like that. And then that's all that you need to do with that steel color, you just get some, some nice steel on there. And finally for, well, finally, uh, but the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take out some flesh wash, and I think that that will make a pretty good wash for each of these sort of monsters. I think that that'll give us some nice sort of icky, icky, uh, gooish kind of color for each of them too. You know, I forgot, and I was thinking about it as I was going over the shoes, too. There are some of those sort of, like, red tendrily things coming down, actually, underneath the pant leg on his right leg right there. You know, kind of coming down below his shoe or whatever. Um, so if, if you want, when you're going over everything with your, with your red color, you can knock those out. I kind of spaced it, forgot. Not a huge deal. I think it'll be fine. But that's just something to be aware of if you want to uh, keep an eye out for it. But there you go, that's that's just a solid sort of shade on there. That's some nice coloration. Just kind of shows off the details. Really shows off all of the sort of, you know, knits in the sweater there. So that's pretty cool. And just do that for all of them. I'll go ahead and do the, the, the Child of Dagon next, actually, because that one is just going to be a little bit of a different looking guy, I think. There you go, that's gross. Yeah, that really brings out all of the different um, sort of pustules and everything on there too. That looks cool. So yeah, that's the kind of thing that we're looking for. And then after you apply this quick shade to all of your miniatures here, you're gonna let them completely dry because I wanna do some detail work, but even if you don't wanna do some detail work, you'll wanna let them completely dry before you go over them with a varnish, which is what I'm gonna do later. In any case, we'll get to that in a minute. So apply this, let it dry, be back in a minute. Okay, those look pretty good. Those are nice and dry now. So now we're just going to finish up with our detail work, which, uh, as I've done for all the previous miniatures, I'm going to say again, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I like to do it because I like to do a little bit of extra stuff. We're going to do some eyes. But rather than use white and black that we normally do in the past, I figured we'd do a little bit of a sort of... Uh, sickening kind of color scheme here. So I'm going to take a skeleton bone, actually, and we'll use that for our eyes. Just make sure you get a really sharp brush with a really sharp detail. We've got some eyes on the Child of Dagon there. All right, and then we're gonna do the same thing with the Deep One hybrids. Oh, kind of messed up the, ooh, yeah, I messed up that one really badly. That's okay, no big deal. There we go, I kind of like, and I, I like the idea too, of just leaving the deep one hybrids, of just leaving them with those sort of, uh, you know, pupil-less eyes, you know, just the sort of whited out eyes like that. I think that that's a little bit more sort of like fish-like and a little bit more weird and creepy and crawly. So I'm going to uh, be done with that color, that was skeleton bone. Then I'm just gonna take out a little bit of matte black and I'm just gonna use that to dot the eyes on the child of Dagon. There we go. Also just uh, water down the uh, the brush substantially. Just get a little bit of black on there, but water it down quite a bit, and maybe that'll just kind of fill in the mouth a little bit. There we go, and that just kind of makes it look like his mouth is a little bit more open. So there you go, that's it. I think that that'll about do it. Next up is I'm going to use a layer of matte varnish for everything. And if you want to be done after that, that's fine. If you don't, if you want to be done right now as is like that, uh, you're fine. I would honestly say you're good to go. But if you want to do a little bit more, the next thing that I would say is uh, knock out some matte varnish. You can just use any sort of like ratty, no name brush, just some big fat brush. And you can even water it down a little bit, just kind of dip the tip of your brush into some water and uh, water down your varnish a little bit. All right. 
a little something like that, and it's gonna, you know, I've talked about it in the video before this, but whenever you're applying the varnish, it's gonna have that sort of like, you know, thick, sort of milky white coloration. Wow, I really laid it on thick on one of them there, actually. So yeah, and, and as it dries, it'll get uh, progressively clearer. Now, it's okay to do it while it's still a little bit wet like this, but the very last thing that I would say that you can do, but you don't have to, I just dropped something I didn't wanna drop. It's not nearly as broken as I thought it was. Okay, that's all right. Anyway. Um, I'll take out some glistening blood, and this is uh, this is just a nice, wet, bloody wet look, look to it. Um, if you don't have the Army Painter Mega Paint set, I would say that the best version of this that you can get is probably um, Citadel's Blood for the Blood God. That's the best stuff that you can get. I'm just gonna say straight up, like that's that's really really the good stuff. Uh, but this stuff is, is decent, too. Now, it's got kind of a weird coloration. I don't know if it shows up very well on camera here or not, but it's got sort of a weird purplish-magenta look when it's nice and wet, but as it dries, it will become much more much more red. But all, you, all you're going to do is just kind of, over you know, the various sores that you've already gone over, you can just kind of tap this on here. And the reason why it's important to do this after your varnish is because in order to make it look wet and glistening and gross and icky and slimy, uh, you want to do that after the varnish because the varnish will not make it so shiny. So do this after the varnish. But it is another thing that I would say is purely optional. I'll go ahead and do it just to kind of show you what it's like, show you what the process looks like. And that's it. And then, yeah, that'll do it. So, and as it dries, as everything dries, those sores, those sort of, yeah, you can kind of see it on, on camera already. They've got a sort of wet, glistening look to it. And I think that, coupled with the, you know, necrotic flesh that you used as a base coat, the flesh wash, I think that that is pretty much everything that you need. So, that's it after that. You just want to let them completely dry. You're totally done. And there you go, everybody. Those are the Deep One Hybrids and the Child of Dagon from Mansions of Madness. I like these guys. I think that they're nice and gross, gnarly, kind of kind of a cool sort of color scheme going on for each of them there. I really, really like the Child of Dagon especially. But yeah, the big the big bruisers, the big, big beefy guys that are the Deep One hybrids, I think that they turned out pretty cool too. So if you like the video as well, go ahead and uh, throw it a like. If you want to see the rest of the Mansions of Madness second edition miniatures being painted, you can subscribe to the channel. I think that next week I'm going to knock out the Deep Ones, and I am looking forward to them because we're going to do something really weird and really crazy with them. I've done it before with um, similar types of miniatures elsewhere, but I think that it'll go pretty well here as well. So thank you everybody for watching. We'll see you next time on Easy Mini Painting. Have a good night.